Okay. All right, let's get going. Let's wrap up, folks, because today we're heading back into the comment section of the thirsty Instagram post. We're wading through all the bots, the aubergines, God, the aubergines, the horny devil emojis, the scams, oh, the scams, to find the one or two nut jobs. Well, mostly guys, I mean, but not exclusively, who feel the need to say something either aggressively sexual or write poetry, that happens a lot for some reason, or ramble on about themselves, or just get angry in the comment section of these Instagram thirst traps. Today I'm going through Lena Perez's Instagram account. Why Lena Perez, you might ask? Well, because I scored 91 out of 100 on the TubeBuddy keyword rankings tool. So with any luck, this video will appear in the top page of some of the 500,000 searches she gets each month. Those are some big numbers I can't turn down. When other guys look at Lena, they see great boobs and an ass that won't quit. But when I look at Lena, I see great boobs and an ass that won't quit. I mean, what did you think I was gonna see? There's something I wanna clear up though in case you're one of the people that found this video because you searched Lena's name. In the previous weird comments videos I've done, a few people thought I was attacking the creators themselves or the whole fandom. Now I didn't do that and I'm not gonna criticize Lena or the whole fandom. Listen, if you like to comment on Instagram posts and you're charming, witty, cute, and funny, then cool, good for you. Creators love comments. I'm just taking the piss out of a very small group of people within the fandom who have a problem. And that is when they see boobs, they let their dick do the commenting. Now, if you're sweating because you just commented on her posts, you don't have to worry. I mean, the bar is extremely low. I don't even care if you're the guy leaving aubergines and the three droplets of water. I'm looking for comments that are 50 feet below that bar like this one. If you let me put my finger up your butt, I'll never wash my hands and never use cutlery to eat food again. <laughs> if you've written something like this, then maybe think of this video as a review of your work. A very candid and aggressive review. You could think of me as Gordon Ramsay and you've just fucked up the souffle or something. Or we found a pube in the dish you're preparing. I don't know, I've never seen the show before, but I assume Gordon would be critical of those things. You fucking donkey! And anyway, I'm basically doing the same thing with extra steps. I'm saying stupid things on camera and posting it on YouTube, so... Who, who is really the idiot here? So just sit back, let's have some fun reading some crazy comments. So we're starting with this post, which Lena has captioned, on my way to be someone's tennis coach. Uh, now I'm no engineer, but I don't think that bikini top has the structural integrity to handle a tennis match. I mean, I've seen more support from the cardboard fans at a COVID football match than there is in that bikini. <laughs> anyway, that aside, let's see what beautiful comments this post has inspired. All right, this one from Christina Scarbeck. When he asks to taste the ass, you let him. What about this post, Christina? Open the door for that advice. Nothing about this post made me think about tossing salad. Unless, unless there's something I really don't know about tennis coaches. Great work on the old backhand today. Good workout. Um, you know, I don't like doing this, but it's, you know, there's only one way to know if you've had a good workout and uh, I'm gonna have to taste your ass. Woo! Damn! All right, King Ku 10. But it'd be very difficult to handle your balls. Are you saying she has balls? The only, that's the only way this joke would work is if she had balls. Based on some of the bikinis she's wearing, I don't think she's tucking anything away, bro. <laughs> this dude's so desperate to make a sexual innuendo, he just gave her balls, I think. Another post, maturing is realizing I'm not an excess top anymore. <laughs> I don't know about excess top, but that's certainly some excess boob. <laughs> yeah? Anybody? No? Just me? Okay, no, don't worry, not my best. I'll try, I'll try harder, don't worry, it's fine. It's okay. Muhammad's one. It seems like the breasts have grown a little more, huh? What are you saying? Uh, what are you saying? Why would you take this post so seriously? She's, she's joking, bro. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know how jokes work? Maybe he only understands literally? Hey! Hey, I've got a good one for you, knock knock. You realize I can see you, right? There's no door here? Well, what are you doing? No, you're supposed to say who's there. Oh, fuck. I hate it when you do things like this. You really hurt my brain, okay? I can see you, and there's no door here, okay? So just don't mess with me. Not today, all right? Lena's just posted, and her tits are growing. I've got a lot on my plate right now. I can't handle you imagining doors 
where there aren't any doors, okay? This from Philip John 4003. From the sex point of view, number two. From the classy dame, number one. Philip sounds like one of those shit language AIs that spits out incoherent novels. I mean, I know what he's saying, just how he's saying it doesn't sound human. Hello, fellow human, yes. From an agricultural point of view, the weather is very agreeable. However, from a sex point of view, the weather is very cold and may cause my penis to constrict and appear smaller than normal. Have a good day, from all points of view. <laughs> Hossam Hassan79827. Hello, beautiful girl. Are you single? Can you marry me? I mean, you never know, right? I mean, it could. She might just see this message and think, you know what? Yeah, I am single and I do want to marry Hossam Hassan79827. Feel like I know everything I need to know about him from 79. 827. And you know what? I think that would make a great reality TV show if she just married one of these guys randomly. Just picked one at random and married the dude. Like if they followed the guy from with a camera from the moment he received the DM all the way to his wedding night, it would be a smash show. Balls to wall entertainment. His wedding speech would be incredible TV. And it would be, it would be, you know it would be awesome because the amount of poetry that these guys write in the comments already. Speaking of poetry. This post inspired a ton. So let's head on over to Reply Guy Poetry Corner and see what we got. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Reply Guy Poetry Corner. Today we have the beautiful words from Fernando Andres Miskin. You are very booty foo and you are very sweet in this outfit. Very sexy, seductive, sexy lady. What a beautiful beauty, magnificent, pretty cute and amazing beauty. Fascinating, majestic, beautiful. You look absolutely cool and amazing and super pretty. And your long hair is absolutely beautiful and your eyes are adorable, wonderful. One of the most beautiful women you are. How cute is that dress on you? All sunshine and loveliness. You are an exceptionally gorgeous lady. So sensual, seductive, radiant beauty. Personally, I really like Fernando's use of both adverbs and adjectives. My criticism though would have been that he could have used more of both. Where he has very sexy, seductive, sexy lady, I would have liked that to be very much a lot sexy, seductive, seductress. Very much many sexy lady. That, you know, in fact, no, that's even that's not enough. It needs more. No, next time, Fernando, just put the whole dictionary in there. That's, I think you should do it. Anyway, more poetry. This from Luke G. 247. Lena, you look absolutely gorgeous. Happiness blooms from within. While on the subject of blooming, these lovely photos remind me of the iris flower, so I must tell you that you are simply irisistible. Huh? See what he did there? After viewing these lovely photos, not a daisy goes by where I don't think about you. You are no garden variety girl. You are one of a kind. My admiration for you blossoms every day. Lena, when it comes to you, I have definitely picked a good one. <laughs> Look, gee, you're a wordsmith, my friend. Solid pun work. I think this takes the very much, many, very greatly coveted, desired, desirable reply guy, Poetry Corner Award. Unless, unless this submission from JS Anders 2 has anything to say about it. But this is tough competition. I think Luke G's got it in the bag. JS Anders 2 wrote, My God. I'm about to bust in my pants. <laughs> Very beautiful beauty, sexiness, sexy poetry from everyone. Until next time on Reply Guy Poetry Corner. Another post to probably give his ass a panic attack. And John Morgan 57 says, sorry, but Kinsey looks more natural and prettier. You look nice, but too high maintenance. This is good, John. This is good. Treat him mean and keep him keen, I say. You see, everyone else is coming in with the compliments but not John, he's gonna say something negative, which will get underneath her skin, lower her self-esteem a little bit, and the only way to get it back will be by getting John's approval and by sleeping with it. It's a fucking tight plan, John. Ben Mersh, Ben Mersh, Ben Mersh. TF, wrong with your belly button? Really, dude? Her belly button? Yeah, I mean, Lena, I'm, I'm like, firstly, I'm flattered. I mean, I would go out with you, but, okay, you have a belly button, and, uh, 
I don't fuck with that. I love what you got going on here. It's all very nice, but I just, I can't see past the belly button thing. I'm just looking for a girl without a belly button, okay? What can I say? Benny, Ben, 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 Ben. I challenge you, no, I double dare you to find me a belly button on this planet that doesn't look like a tiny sexual organ or a pocket for small bits of fluff. You can't do it because they're all super weird, okay? You ever get the chance to date Lena, my advice, just put the belly button thing to one side and dive in with both feet. In other news I wanna point out, I found poems from both Luke and Fernando on almost every single one of Lena's posts. That's how dedicated these guys are. And to give Luke credit, his are at least coherent and he kinda of sticks to only one adverb and one adjective. So props for that. Another post. If you like this, it means you have a crush on me. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Someone with a strange name said, super ultra hot, my love. You make me so creasy for your sensuality. Kiss for you. So creasy? Dude, I don't even wanna know what that means, but it sounds gross. Bieber Jonas, remove clothes. I wanna see you naked. <laughs> How does someone's brain not filter this. He's so committed to getting this comment out into the world, the guy even put a little asterisk in naked. If he thinks there's a chance you'll read this and DM him a nude, I want what he's having. And if not, then why would you write it in the first place? <laughs> the more amazing poetry coming in from Suresh RV3385. Most seductive, sexiest, hottest, erotic, sensual, beautiful, stunning, and awesome, amazing, gorgeous, hilarious, entice, ravish, dream girls, irreplaceable, dazzling, epic, elite, wonderful, fascinating, incredible, super duper sexy, hot, sexy, gorgeous, pretty, extremely, extraordinary, sexy, gorgeous, sexy, hot, elegant, attractive, excellent, fantastic, mind-blowing, lovely, sweet, spa. Ah. <sighs>